Hi everybody, thanks for showing up again. I had trouble waking up this morning again. Uh, finals, nerves, everything. First quarter of school, you know, it's the last day of this class. It's just, you know, it's a lot to take in. You know, a couple weeks from now, big changes, new classes, everything. It's gonna be an interesting time. It's a little bit about myself. The picture on the left, that was me when I was 12 years old. I actually did Taekwondo throughout middle school and got my black belt when I was 12. Uh, I was going to keep going, but then they wanted me to, there was like age requirements for what degree of black belt you could get, and I had to be 14. By that time, I was 14, I wasn't really interested in it anymore. Uh, picture on the right, that was high school. Played football my senior year. I was probably one of the like the greatest pictures of myself that I've ever seen. I'm not much to you know brag on, but that was pretty awesome. It was in the paper. Uh, I only did football in my senior year, though. I wish I would have done it through all four years. So some valuable lessons I took away from this class is that a lot of you have different motivations. You know, some people have kids, some people have money, me, money, and you know, just having having that motivation to keep going is key to staying successful in college. Also another thing, staying positive. It's a lot easier said than done, but mindset is very important. Mindset, having a good mindset, staying positive, you know, keeping yourself above the clouds. Wait. It's just be happy, I guess. And then perception and attitude, another thing. If you have a good attitude going into this class, you'll do good. One thing that was really hard for me is that I'm a kind of person that will, I'm very easily emotionally swayed, I guess you could say. I can, stuff will get to me really easily. I'm sensitive. There we go. And, you know, having to differ, like, personal drama that's happening at home and, you know, having school, like, having, I was having trouble separating that out. So towards the end of the quarter, you know, stuff was going on at home, started slacking a little bit, and that's one thing that I'm really going to work on these next few quarters. The topics I enjoyed, this class was a lot of self-reflecting, and that's one thing that I really enjoyed, because, you know, it's just, you learn what you're good and what you're bad at, and a lot of, like, the SWAT assignment, you know, strengths, weaknesses, you know, I have troubles, I always have troubles thinking of strengths about myself, and it's just, I don't, that's just a personal thing. Weekly assessments, going over, the collaboration at the end was probably one of my favorite things, because... If we hadn't have done that, I probably wouldn't have looked at the other weekly assessments, if I was being honest. And then having to read over them and seeing my progression, like, throughout the quarter, that actually made me feel kind of proud about myself. You know, like, they were good, and then you can see, like, towards maybe week five, week six, that's when things started dipping, you know, going down, started getting rough. And then, you know, I actually, I came back from it, and, you know, it's, it's yeah. Oops, my bad. Lectures. I did not even attend the SOAR session or whatever that was that you're supposed to go and like give you a tour of everything. So having all the guest speakers coming in, you know, the advisors and all that, that was actually a great opportunity. Plus, with lectures, I always have trouble paying attention because I get bored. And, you know, like, taking the notes. Taking the notes helped me pay attention to them. And, you know, I came in this class wanting to do better than I did in high school. High school, I hate school. I hate school. Never want to be there. Halfway throughout my senior year, I skipped because my parents moved up here to Bremerton, and I was living with a friend, you know. No parental control, could do whatever I wanted, and it actually, it bit me in the end. Some areas of improvement, my work efficiency. There's some assignments that I take more seriously than, than others. I don't know, everyone does that. But whenever I'm doing, like, homework and stuff, I always, I never put in 110%. Like, I have, I can apply myself, but I just don't do it. I mean, I put in more effort into other assignments than I do into certain ones, and working on balancing that out and putting, you know, giving it my all in every assignment should be good. Interdependence, I don't, this is, this, this is rough right here for me. I don't, I'm not much of a, you know, I don't like to talk to other people. I'm more independent person. Some people say two minds are better than one. I just like my own mind, you know. I know what I'm thinking. And I know what I want to get done. Working off campus, homework. I just, as, soon, as soon as I leave this place, just school just, just disappears. And then you know, I look at my planner. I contemplate doing the homework. Sometimes I don't. And it's just 
the environment I'm at at home just makes me not want to do school or anything like that. And I just, once I realized, later through the quarter, I realized if I stay at school, I'll actually get the stuff done. So I started staying after a little bit, you know, getting, making sure all my extra stuff was done. That helped a lot. Some more struggles, procrastinating. Last second. At least, like, four assignments, maybe this quarter. Waited till like, the last day before it was due. My smart goal was to complete my assignments before the due versus due date. That just, no, that didn't happen. I was hoping that maybe, you know, I would have enough motivation to get them done on time. You know, most of the assignments I got them done on time, but, you know, very close. Separating school and home, you know, home drama gets me. I try not to bring it to school. You know, that happens at work, too. Stuff happens at work, and it's just... Uh, that's one thing I have to learn. You know, counseling is helping with that. You know, separating, no drama, you know, getting through all that. Information retention, notes. All right. Because I can sit here, you know, Mr. Cameron can give like 20 minute lecture, and I'll sit here and just, all right. But then, as soon as I leave here, unless it's something that clicks, because, you know, there were some stories that he gave that really clicked with me, I'll forget it. You know, I won't remember it. But the notes. You know, no style. It's one of the biggest things I took away, and that, you know, just, that helps a lot with retaining information. Takeaways, you know, using a calendar and a planner, I wouldn't have done that. You know, I didn't do that at all through high school. I thought, you know, hmm, I can just do it. No, but, you know, having everything organized and planned out, especially because there's going to be a lot of stuff in these next couple quarters, you know, there's going to be a lot of assignments. So using a planner and using a calendar to help me organize my days, that will help a lot. And then said it like four times already, the note-taking styles is off. Uh, some of my nerves that I had, you know, meeting new people, don't know anybody here, I mean, I'm glad to have met you all, thank you. And it's, that was honestly one of my biggest problems, and then getting behind, because once I get behind, if I miss a day or two, and, you know, I'm probably not going to you know, do that stuff, because that's why I have missing assignments in here. And it's just, I don't know, that's just stuff I have to figure out, you know, at home in here. Oh, that's the end. All right. Very good. Questions, comments, thoughts for DeAndre? Yep. I definitely understand where you're coming from with the whole in high school, not really kind of caring thing to getting here and being like, Oh man, I actually need to care yeah. about this. I know it's I, not a lot during your I completely understand that. That is 100% hit and home. Who was that first? Um, yeah, you did a good job. I totally understand about the procrastination. <laughs> thing, but that's one of my biggest problems I have. So. I'm still trying to figure out, you know, tips to help with that. But, you know, like I said, as soon as I get home, it's just... Yeah, I'm the same way. It's like, whatever. I can do all thoughts for the emotional things. That's one of my things I struggle with is things going on at home and bringing them in. Mm -hmm. I used to have a problem with that with my job. Too. Like, I'd be so upset about something, I'd bring it in and it would mm -hmm. affect everybody, everything. And so that's a huge, that's a huge thing like, you know, to separate those two. So. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, difficult. So, I remember someone talking about it. I can't remember who was talking about it, but uh, I think it was, actually, it was you talking about your, you'll change your emotions to like people around you. Yeah. you know, if someone else is in a bad mood, you'll become in a bad mood. Well, I was always... I was always the person that was the person in the bad mood, you know. Uh, you know try not to do it, and you know, put on front all the time, you know, happy smile, whatnot. Something that I did these past two quarters that really helped me because I was a very happy mind environment also, because mm -hmm. I... I've gone to the library here a couple of times, and I've done some work at home. I'm not a lady that I can try close football, so that was actually a one of the things I remember. Yeah, that's not weird. That's not something that I need to know. That was a long time. All right, that's all we did.